hi guys welcome back to my kitchen welcome back to my channel my name is margaret today my sister will be in the kitchen doing her hot sauce yes you heard me right mm -hmm. she finally got a good batch of hot sauce hot peppers um we just happened to go to the store they had hot peppers and she decided she wanted to do her hot sauce so i decided to video the hot sauce and share it with you guys <laughs> so chair kitchen it's all yours and if you just if you just came across my channel please please consider subscribing to the channel <laughs> oh guys and don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you like the video and guys there are always more videos down in the description or on this channel see you guys in a few Okay guys, my sister is preparing to do her hot sauce. Hmm, let me let her tell you about this hot sauce, Lord. Well, I have a variety of hot peppers. Normally, I just use um, habanero peppers that I grow. So there's some of the habanero peppers there. And I got some jalapenos, fresnos, uh, both red and yellow, red and green jalapenos and the red Fresnos. Um, I'm using more carrots than I usually do today. And um, I'm using red onions today because that's all we have. Um, well, technically my sister wants to use her own yellow onions. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. And then we got a new pepper that I'm gonna try that I already tasted. It's a Peruvian pepper. I'm not quite sure what the name of it is. Um, something Amarillo, well, clearly yellow, duh. but um, it's a new pepper, and I'm gonna save the seeds as you can see. The seeds are beautiful, they're black, and um, this is the first time that I'll be using this fresh because normally it's in a jar. Uh, so I am going to try that pepper in my hot sauce, okay? And you have the apple, the apple cider vinegar, and uh, apple cider vinegar, what? mustard white distilled vinegar salt and black pepper and um, guys i will be leaving the ingredients in the description below and this is the first one don't worry she'll be making more excuse you yeah because you're gonna eat this out in a heartbeat yeah well we don't need to tell everybody that guys when she do the next batch i'll let you know because she might do it with only the um habanero peppers, habanero peppers. who knows maybe she come across another pepper and this is a Caribbean style hot sauce because it's a mixture of both um, the hot sauce that I like from Barbados as well as the Trinidad hot sauce as well as the Belizean hot sauce. So, hey, talk about a fusion hot sauce. If you try something different, let us know. I'd love to try it. I love hot sauce. So. Okay, guys. See you in a little bit. All right. <laughs> All right, here goes. Sorry, didn't mean to splatter. Oh my God, I smell it. Sweet Jesus. I know, right? Woo! I definitely smell this a mile away. Pour my side of vinegar. I don't know, I have a little bit more left in here. All right, I'll leave this for the next one. Yes, yes, you are in the way. Let me get some peppers. Just a few bits of pepper. A bit of onions. I'm not picky. Whatever works. A bit of carrots. And yes, these carrots were frozen. So let me get a little bit of that pepper. Just a few. Put those in here. And I clearly need a little bit more vinegar, so I'll get some white distilled vinegar. And try to get it to halfway up. And that's that. So let me just cover this up. And as you can see, I am wearing gloves. Hey, better do. 
<laughs> last thing you want is to touch personal parts after touching hot pepper. <laughs> personal parts. All right, here goes. Oh, wait, let me just shake this up. Jiggy it up. Okay, just jiggy a little bit because I could see lovely seeds in there and I got no problems with the seeds. But other people might. All right, I think that's good. I only have a few seeds. Hold on. I saw a few seeds. Like there's one right here and one there. Oh, look at this. A whole seed. I'm so excited. Oh my God, I'm excited. Oh, Lord, the things. Let's put this in there. And yes, I am only using vinegar. Some people can put water um, and whatever else you choose to put in there. It's up to you. My liquid of choice is vinegar. Cider vinegar, uh, whatever vinegar I got is what's going in there. And um, since I am not allowed to use my sister's um, fancy blender <laughs> as I was told you're not using my blender for that <laughs> so I'm clearly not using her blender for that <laughs> oh I need to get another cup so she can use it for hot sauce or whatever she well, wishes I have my own personal glass blender that I use at home just for hot sauce because clearly I do a lot of hot sauce let me get some more of that pepper Mm. Uh, we just happened That's to go to the mentioned. store and found these peppers yesterday, guys. It was yesterday? Yeah. Okay. I need yes. that vinegar. You only need apple cider vinegar? Yes. That's okay. Alright. Alright, so. Alright, we'll this one and then we can see offspring. Seeds. It is seeds, sorry, I didn't have the camera. <clears throat> that was for good measure. <laughs> okay. Look at how many seeds. seeds isn't bad. I still see some whole pieces in here of pepper though. So I think I'll do some a bit more blending. <laughs> Alright y'all, I had to switch to this fancy thing because I sort of blew out the other one and I was... My sister sorted. just killed my baby. And I'm going to replace it. You're right. She just killed it. Just killed it. We're him. ordering one from Amazon tonight so that she can have her smoothie heaven help us. You be on the stars. <laughs> oh, Lord, guys. My baby just went great. Exactly. It was on its last hey, leg. Hey, anyways. hey, All right, the thing nice one leg on the All right, y'all. I use carrots, um, extra carrots in my hot sauce because... I do not like putting sugar in my hot sauce. I know a lot of people like to prefer to put sugar in their hot sauce just to um, balance it out. I just use extra carrots and the sweetness from the carrots is and the onions is what balances out for me. So um, if you don't want sugar, feel free to add carrots in your um hot sauce or whatever sweetener other sweetener just please don't put artificial sweetener it's not gonna taste well if you do that all right I think I better not push my luck I'll put a few of these in here I don't have much of this left in there anyways but I, I do think have you need a bigger pot my sister hmm, child. 
Because guys, look at the pot already. All right. And we're blending all of. All right. So let me pour the last of this white vinegar. Oh, okay. Make sure that that's not something I need to take off. The last of the white vinegar. Bye bye. And then let me get some of the. All right. What are you going to pour first? I have the cider vinegar, so okay. I'll put some cider vinegar in there. Again, I try to go at least up to halfway with the liquids as I do this um, because I prefer to have more liquid and I just use vinegar, like I said, just straight vinegar. So I'll add the rest. I'll fill up the rest of my half pot um, blender with the white distilled vinegar. Okay, I think I'm at a half halfway point there um the cover is on the other side there oh okay. is this correct yeah you got it just press down all right you can do the push on out here because you don't want me doing it put your hand on the top please where want to check it <laughs> or keep blending all right she didn't answer so that's me keep blending oh shucks you should have given me this sooner look there's no seeds guys i'm not even gonna answer her mm -mm. we'll leave that alone no i need to blend all of that what it won't be uniform now you have uniform yes child i'm going up <laughs> Okay, guys, hold on a minute. <laughs> All right, then. Shucks, I've been trusted with this. Oh, I want to lick my fingers so badly. <laughs> oh, my goodness, you guys. Look at that. Not a seed in sight. Now, why didn't she want to lend me this one? I'm not even going to answer that, guys. Oh, I want to taste this so badly. Oh, yes, Lord. Mm. All right. Since that works so fabulously, wonderfully fine, <laughs> is that me? <laughs> That's the blender. Oh, oh, and you got attitudes too? Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> You're doing fine, child. So I'm just going to take this since, as you can see, look at how much seeds in here. Anywho, I'm going to blend this in the fancy blender. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord, guys. just a little bit more and then I can just do two blends I'm just trying to pour it along the side so it doesn't splatter I don't care to clean it up and Lord knows my sister would make me clean it well hello I rest my case Lord fanciness boy <laughs> all right please do the, the magic thing Mm. Oh, such a beautiful sound. I don't know about that, but thank you, Mr. Blender, Mrs. Blender, since I need to be politically correct. But there's a bit more seeds in this one. That one. Yeah, there's still okay. seeds in this. Mm. See, there's a seed here, here, and one is over here. Right. Don't pull it, don't bury it, you know, just put it on the container. You know. <laughs> Still better than before, so it's fine. I need to finish that part. Oh, I should try this. I really should try it. Oh God! What? You have to taste it. Mm. Oh Lord Jesus, guys! If you could smell this, <laughs> oh my God! I I need a mask. <laughs> it's not that bad, y'all. Yes. 
Don't listen to this little wimp. <laughs> no name calling me. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, Lord, that's blotted. This does have a lot of seeds, huh? <clears throat> yeah, I don't care how much you clear your throat. <laughs> I truly don't. <laughs> I swear. I I need to drink water. Mm-hmm. Go drink some water, child. Because I still need a camera person who's not coughing. <laughs> there. I'm glad you can't squeeze it. Girl, if I could, I would. <laughs> but since I can't, <laughs> I won't. Distracted by two pepper seeds. For so, real, Cherry? Look, oh, I'm not kidding. I'm Who cares two. about two pepper seeds? Me. There's peppers over here. Look. Wait. See them? If you say so. Right there. You know, I'm looking out for your goodness. Okay? Mm. Y'all the one who don't like the I think I'm gonna run into some trouble. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm gonna run into some troubles. Hard head to run go to market twice. Got to use the other big pot. Which other big pot? Your big black one. You better have your the Teflon one? Yes. No, you can't put this much acid in a Teflon pot. No. But in my head, mm -hmm. after you see all that, I thought that was going to be enough. <laughs> mm. Alright. But it looks like it's going to work because that's all the pepper you have left, right? I think. I hope. Ooh, there's seeds in here. Sweet heavens. Them seeds go to waste. Don't touch this, and let me just put it over there, please. Sorry. And look at the amount of seeds she did take out of it, guys. And back there. Oh. Oh wow. There's a black seed floating from the yellow pepper. Oh. It's okay, I shall squash you. You sure that's all I got? That's all the peppers? Yeah, that's all the peppers. Thank God. Hey. Right here, but it's a half a pepper seed. Alright, one more. Oh, 
I'm going to let him put them in my blood, Jesus. Oh, yes, it's a whole of a seed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys, she just made it by skinning her teeth. Literally. Exactly. Okay, wow. Want me to touch it? You could take the gloves off now. I'm not sure. Thank you. That was a nice try, though. Mm, I tried. Okay, guys, she's going to put it on the stove now. Then I have to rest, add the rest of my pucha, ma. Mm -hmm. Go for it. Yes, guys, that's it right there. Wooden spoon or no here. I don't use my wooden spoon in that thing. Yes guys, I will never let her give her my wooden spoon to put in that thing. before it starts popping up me. Ah. And I will let this simmer. Because I won't have time. I, won't, I don't want to taste it until it's today. Hello. Alright. Let's not push my stinking lock. Because some of this is going to evaporate off. Mm -hmm. And then I'll add the rest of the mustard. Yeah, and then I just let this start simmer. Get the pot real nice and hot. Mm -hmm. Taste for salt now, though. So now it's a fabulous thing to add salt. for a minute I'll just taste this well once it starts simmering then I'll turn on the um, vent mm -hmm. to get some of it out A little bit more mustard. Oh, yes. Oh, I see a seed. 
And I didn't bring any pepper buttons either. Oh, cherry? Mm -hmm. We didn't have any plants of making pepper sauce. We sure didn't. We just went into the store and found it. Yes, yes, yes. That's a workout around here, guys. It's whatever comes along. <laughs> Gets cooked. Get cooked. <laughs> Yes, it needs a bit more mustard, but I think it has enough pepper. Yes, Jesus. It needs salt. It needs salt? Yes. You want to taste it? It's juice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she thinks she's funny. You want to taste it, you're right. Like, I don't know, but... <laughs> went on my hand, darn. And you have to make it? Yes. <laughs> Alright, you know what? I'm going to need to take some of this out and put it in this little small pot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just a little bit though. And I put it back in when it is. When it reduces. It reduces. Because it's already starting to form. Because it's hot. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that, no, no, that part it was in. What well, part that it was in? Uh huh. You oh. dirty another part. You don't make me wash it. Mm -hmm. Actually, I probably should, should use this. Leave some. Alrighty, I'll just dip with a couple cups of this into this. And then I'll add a bit more mustard into this. La la. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's starting to boil. Yay, yay. Since these were all fresh ingredients, y'all, it definitely needs to be salted really well. To bubble. Still needs more mustard. Most of this is to taste, you guys. Whatever saltage you want, whatever mustard you want, whatever sweetness you want, heat level. or whatever heat level you want. I don't 
I took out most of the the seeds from the habanero peppers and some of the seeds from the Fresno peppers and some from the jalapeno really. And you have a serrano pepper in the too, right? Yes. Mm. I took the seeds out of most of them. I did leave some of the seeds from the jalapeno and some seeds from the habanero peppers. Because mm -hmm. I know it's not all mine. How do I wish? <laughs> But as you guys can see, I didn't completely puree it. So you can see all the different color peppers in there. Look at a little bit of red, green, yellow. All right, so this is starting to lighten up a bit. So I did lower the heat. And then I'm gonna skim some of this foam off once it gets into the middle. Normally though, I would blend, I would have blended the mustard into the, um, into the mix. So by the time it pours, I pour it into the pot, it would just be to heat it up. But I decided to not put the mustard in to the blended mix because I wasn't sure how hot I wanted it to be. And the mustard is what tames it at the end because everything else would have already been blended the onions the carrots the everything else that contains the sweetness so the mustard is the only thing that I would have to control the heat level hence the reason I didn't put it into the mix sometimes like when the baby carrots go on sale I try to buy a few more baby carrots and freeze them, vacuum seal them if I have to, when they're like 50 cents a pack, because they have, they are very sweet, and I use less of those carrots to create the blend that I need for the hot sauce, and then I don't add sugar. And I also sometimes use the Vidalia onions when the Vidalia onions are in season. Again, they're naturally sweet. So I would use the Vidalia onions and the baby carrots because um, I can vacuum seal them. And use them later. But before, if you're going to vacuum seal them and store them for a long term, you need to make sure you blanch them. Please blanch them before you vacuum seal them. Just to try to get off as much of those enzymes as possible that would cause them to rot. Or to get them, um, not rot, to let them um, get freezer burn. Looks like most of my mustard has dissolved in there because I'm not seeing any clumps of mustard anymore. Oh, as I said that I saw a piece. But as you can see my hot sauce is starting to bubble. Oh, that's not mustard is it? it is. Woo -wee, look at that y'all, look at that, look at that. Woo look. Oh. Mm -mm. So I'm gonna keep stirring a little bit more and then I'll turn the heat down. Right now it's at just past medium heat. And I'll turn the heat down and just let this continue to simmer at uh, probably three, because right now it's at five, just past five. 
salt it now because I can't take it out <laughs> so I better let it finish and as it get close to finishing then I'll add the salt a little bit more salt if needed because it will concentrate once this evaporate out mm -mm, it needs mustard can you bring me another mustard please on me really have some manners hmm. it's spilling look at that look at that it's fluttered over Ooh, there, there. Mm -hmm. you know that did not a bobo This must be more than containers of mustard in here. See me I get all of it out. This one will perfect. And this one. This one just have a little bit left in. Big difference in color. Exactly. That one versus this one. Mm -hmm. And you guys, if you want to do your hot sauce like this and do it for long-term storage, you can also just take this and water bath can it because you saw that I had only put vinegar in it and now mustard so the acid content in this is pretty high um, so you can water bath can it uh, as opposed to having to pressure can but if you add water to this and you reduce the acid content then you might want to pressure can this for long-term storage or just make enough to keep in your fridge and use it as you want to and keep it refrigerated but if you use as much acid as I did, you can water bath can it and keep it for long-term storage. As long as you cook it. Please make sure you cook it completely. Let's see if I still need some salt. Yes. Mm. Oh my god, that needs a bit of salt. Definitely need salt. Bring up the flavor, y'all. Alright. All the heat in this is good. Yes, I am. You tell them how you carry it around? 
Oh yes, I have to take my hot sauce with me everywhere I go and anybody who knows me knows that I bring my hot sauce wherever I go. Because the last thing I want is for them to give me that stuff in the little red bottle. No names being mentioned of course. But you all know what I mean. And I almost fought a man one day because he reached out to get my hot sauce off the table. Was that the one on the cone? Yes, he reached out to take my hot sauce off the table and said, can I borrow the hot sauce? I'm like, that's not your hot sauce, sir. Then he goes, just a little bit. I'm like, mm. eat at your own risk. And I let him take it. By the time he was done coughing, I almost had to call 911, but we were on a cruise, so... Somebody came to help him. I took my hot sauce back there. <laughs> well, I warned him. But it's so funny because the next night he came back and he asked for some more. Day. Yes, he asked for the hot sauce. He goes, Miss, Miss, you have the hot sauce? I'm like, didn't you almost die yesterday? Mr. Buddy was so good. It was, it was good. I thought about it all night. I'm like, hmm. <laughs> that was funny. He asked come in and asked for the hot sauce, but I'm gonna say hey. Mm. Alright y'all, as you can see, most of that froth has gone away as I am stirring. But if you start this out on um low heat, so like probably at three, if you put it at three quarter heat i guess that's quarter heat because halfway is medium so if you start it at three and leave it at three covered it will continue to simmer like how you would simmer uh sunday sauce so you just let it simmer and simmer and simmer stir occasionally and then when all the froth is gone oh look there's a little bit of mustard i must squash it don't worry about it i got it so when all this the froth is gone, you know you're ready to can or bottle your hot sauce. And then you can water bath can it for long-term storage or put it in the fridge. But with the amount I make, it doesn't make it into long-term storage. <laughs> so is that the truth? <laughs> Oh yeah, the sausage is good. And I just want a little bit of mustard that needs to be dissolved. Mmm. Oh yes, the sausage good man. Wanna try? No cherry. Begin to think people around here don't trust me. I need to get a piece of bread for me to taste that. Bread? Yeah, I need to get something. I can't do it. Oh, Jesus. Oh, talk about desecrating the hot sauce. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not having a hot sauce myself like that. No, sorry. But you have to taste it, man. Bad cherry. That's on the punishment. Come get a spoon and taste. That's on the punishment, no? Mm -hmm. I am not volunteering for it. Mmm, nummy. Doesn't it look good? It's beautiful. What is this? No. Oh, hell yeah, you know what this is. Come lick this spoon. Ew! <laughs> <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> Why are She doesn't want to taste it. That's the only time I don't taste anything she cooks. This hot sauce. But you taste the hot oil when I make hot oil? Yeah, but I'm not tasting like that. I put it on something. So get some pasta and taste it. Oh, some pasta and some spaghetti and meatballs. 
You're gonna get all that just to taste the hot sauce? Yes, because I'm not trusting. All right, you guys, she doesn't trust it. But you guys trust me, right? I know you do. <laughs> I know you trust me well enough to know that I would not let you sink with hot sauce, unlike some people. <sighs> it is not that kind of hot because I took out most of the seeds. I added so much onions, I added so much carrots. Lord have mercy. And she still doesn't trust me. And she saw the whole thing just like y'all. You do you trust me, don't you? It's not hot mm. like that. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm, Lord. Ooh la la. Oh, shocks. I thought you were going to let me put it in. You lost your mind. <laughs> <laughs> There's a level to my craziness with you. <laughs> And when they sit for a while, oh my god, I never serve or sell hot sauce the same day it's done, it's made. It has to sit for at least a good seven days. Hmm. Once it sits for a good seven days, and those flavors have melted, oh lord, y'all gonna be calling me, going, Margaret, sister, Caribbean J, your sister done did good. So this is this is my tasting spoon. Ooh la la. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So like I said you guys you just put whatever you want to put in there to your taste. And if you're gonna be tasting this at the end, please make sure you have um, a piece of bread or something starchy to put it on because if it's too hot for your taste the bread will control the heat in your stomach and your mouth yeah, and everywhere else <laughs> and just remember if you eat too much hot sauce it comes out the other end right <laughs> uh, what, goes? what goes in must comes out it goes in hot be careful if you eat too much it will come out hot but you can tame that too, you know. You can actually eat, make sure you eat it with carbs or you can neutralize it, neutralize the heat with um, with something citrusy. Yeah. So like orange or lime or something. That's why I see most of the Caribbean, they give you a glass of lemonade. Yeah, or orange juice or, orange or juice, something to that yeah. effect if you're eating really spicy foods. Mm -hmm. Well, I bake bread, so. Usually no the hot bread. I would have bread. I usually make sure the hot bread. Mom and I usually have a little piece of bread. Yes, yes, yes. The standard, just in case. Mm. All right, y'all. I think this is done, and it's ready to be put in jars. But it's gonna sit for a minute. But I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit, and then I will. Um, I'm not sure. I'm gonna pressure. I mean, what about canvas today? I don't feel like what about canning this today because I really want to eat it. I've been waiting for this for so long. <laughs> I felt like the star is finally aligned. That's because the habanero peppers are so expensive now. Yeah, I needed to get a little bit more habanero peppers other than what I grew. <laughs> so. so that's why we have another set because you didn't have the ones that you grew yeah. in this one. Nope. <laughs> All right, y'all. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, then. Okay, guys, hold on, let me. So I can turn this off. As you can see, it will still continue to bubble, but I don't want it to get way too thick. So it's I gonna get thick when it gets cold anyway. Yeah. All right, guys, I got some spaghetti and meat balls. So I can get oh, yeah. I'm not that brave. One drop? Put it right in here. One drop? Yes. I trust you. <laughs> 
and one drop. See, that is what I'm talking about. She didn't tell me how big the drop should be. <laughs> that wasn't even a quarter spoon, not even a quarter teaspoon. Ooh, that smells good though. What? I guess I said the words on the cover. Holy Jesus, Cherry. I was licking. Look. This thing hot. It's not hot. <clears throat> yes, guys, this is hot. For me. Mm, anything hot for you. Don't trust my sister like that. But if you like it hot, that's exactly what you want it. Mm -mm -mm. It have a good flavor though. It does have a good flavor. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it's supposed to be hot, so I say hot. But they have a very good flavor. Oh, cherry, that's a good flavor. Mm -hmm. You could taste the flavor in the back. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, girl. I think I saw a hunk of something right there. What is it? Look like mustard. It is mustard. It is squashed. It. Mm. That's a good thing. Mm hmm. Yep. Mm hmm. But the flavor, mm -hmm. sweet Jesus! You know when the man say it, it's it hot but it good. Mm -hmm. Now it's, I see what he yeah, meant, right? Exactly, because it's hot. But sweet Jesus, that flavor. Mm -hmm. And if I had the right ingredients that I usually use, it would have been even better. Because I usually use Vidalia onions and baby carrots and. Mm. Oh God, but this is good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna blow, but it's good. Yes, I'm sure. Yes, Lord. Put a little bit on the thing and taste it. Put it on your piece then. Let me turn this off. Mm hmm. Right? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, that's good. Yes. It makes me want to eat the whole bowl. Exactly. <laughs> oh. Mm hmm. Oh, girl, this is good. That flavor is ridiculous. Mm. Oh my gosh. Mm. Mm -hmm. Look at the difference. <laughs> oh my lord. See, whereas I use the carrots and the onions that we use in Belize, mm. in uh, Trinidad they use um, the coyote squash. Oh. The green coyote squash mm -hmm. is what most of the people use there. Um, and they do use some carrots, uh, and then um, uh, in Barbados, they also use the onions and the carrots, um, and they also add other things in it, like you know, some people add lime juice and or lemon juice or something to that effect mm -hmm. um, when they do it at home, but again. Different people make hot sauce in different ways, no matter where in the world you go. Exactly. Because they use whatever product they have. Exactly. In that part of the world. Yep. Okay. <laughs> no, girl. You sure you don't want to lick the spoon? Oh. All right. And that's that. I will finish that other pot and then bottle this one. Mmm. -hmm. I'm telling you guys, this hot sauce comes out for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. Except sweet snacks. I don't put it on sweet snacks. Don't worry, guys. She alive. <clears throat> well, guys. So you want to thumbs the bottle? So, I'm going to let this sit for a second because I want to bottle it when it's already sat. And then, once it's sit for, I don't know, a couple days, three days mostly, and the flavors have already melted and blend it really well then I will bottle it most likely like Wednesday today's what Sunday so maybe Wednesday Thursday um, I'll bottle it or whenever I get to it the longer it sits the better it gets anyways mm -hmm. so um, I'll probably just bottle it whenever I get another chance to do that after three days but if you try your hot sauce or try this recipe and do it a different way just let me know mm -hmm. I would love to try it mm -hmm. mm. I'll let my sister know and she will let me know and then we will most likely try it because I love to try hot sauce <laughs> I love hot sauce mm -mm -mm. Uh, anyhow 
just remember one of the other options when you eat um, hot sauce if it's too hot for you you can also drink milk yes. because milk will coat your stomach and then um, help you to get rid of some of the heat mm -hmm. and you know what goes in comes out too so it will cool it down coming out too and that said see what it's in the bottle see y'all enjoy the hot sauce all right y'all so this is the bottling of the hot sauce that hot sauce that we had made a while ago was sitting in the fridge so this is very very hot like mighty hot 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 ask me why i'm handling this with bare hands i have no idea but don't do that it's not good for you so this is the hot sauce that i poured from this jar into this um measuring cup and i heated it up in the microwave just until it was slightly simmering it was on like two minutes or so just enough to heat it through so that i can do a sterile oh sorry y'all this is the only funnel my sister has to share with me so this will have to do so the sterile the funnel is sterilized um the spoon is sterilized the jar is very hot which is sterilized as well and i also have the covers inside in this cup that has um hot water that i washed out and it's now soaking in hot water till i'm ready to use it but this is how easy it is to bottle this i'm going to lift this up so that it creates a little bit of air in there so that this pours better <laughs> i take that back hold on a second let me get the spoon out All right, so I'm gonna go really, really gently so I can get this all the way up to just about the neck of the top neck of the bottle. And there we are. So I'm not, I'm gonna, I'm doing this so that you guys can see how it's actually done. So here is the top piece of the cover. And that just gets right on, goes right on there. And this is just the screw top that goes on there as well. And this is very hot water that's in there. So I can use this to just push that down a bit and get out the rest of that water. And that's it, my jar is filled. Um, I will then let this jar cool down a little bit. And once it's cooled down, then this is the sealer top that goes on it and this is basically shrink wrap paper it's just shrink wrap that goes with the bottle kit that goes that way and then when you shrink wrap it like just put the heat on it then this will literally just go right over the cover and seal the cover onto the jar onto the bottle and then once this is cooled down as well then i created these labels um, the hot sauce labels to put on here for when my sister feels like selling my hot sauce um, then we put the hot sauce label on here as well as the location of where the hot sauce was made and her contact information that goes on the back of the bottle um, and I think that's about it I'm gonna remove this because this bottle is still very hot so this like I said the sleeve goes on after the jar cools down and that's about it so this is the regular hot sauce this is the extra hot hot sauce that i had bottled elsewhere actually at my mother's house um so as you can see the difference this clearly has more hot peppers and this one doesn't have as much hot pepper but it's still hot they're both hot this is just extra hot and that's that if you make hot sauce or if you like hot sauce like I do and you try other things like I know some people make a mango habanero and I can't wait to try that of course I will try that I love habanero peppers like you know I plant my own I grow my own so um, and I also grow the scorpion peppers from Trinidad as well um, and any other hot pepper seeds that I get my hands on uh, that I like to grow so this as you know was a mixture of hot peppers that we had found in the store one day when we went there they had a whole 
bunch of hot peppers on sale so of course I had to buy it hello but if you try any other types or mixtures or flavors of hot sauce and you care to share please feel free to send it to my sister in the comment sections or whatever she does anyways enjoy thank you okay guys <laughs> the hot sauce is finished so my sister battled them yeah and she is considering starting to sell them <laughs> oh we go about how about to do the selling portion of this hot sauce anyway guys thanks for watching please don't forget to subscribe that that bell so you don't miss my other video and see you in my next video stay safe and god bless you guys